Okay, so um, this next series of videos, we're going to be going through how to um, build out or install the Matek F405 uh, WMN flight controller. Um, we're going to be using a Matek uh, GPS that we're going to uh, install on this board. We're going to set this up with Spectrum. This is a Spectrum 9747 antennaless receiver. So we're going to be using this receiver. And then we're also going to be using a uh, Matek uh, digital airspeed sensor um, and installing that on the Bennett. Uh, the other thing I've got here, this is the wiring diagram that. Uh, you're able to download on the uh, website. I'll make it available on the, uh, the Bennett page. This has a lot of good information here. I'm going to go through all that information with you and how what we're going to be using in this build with add, adding the um, Matek F405 WNN board to the uh, Bennett. And then um, this is something I did that helps clean up this wiring diagram. And then we can actually draw in our lines to connect to the pads that we want to solder to. Uh, this kind of provides our own little personal map of how we're going to set this up. Here's uh, one that I've recently done for uh, the Bennett that uh, we tested with the WNN flight controller on it. And uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to go through and do all this wiring and make sure we've got everything looking good before we uh, install it in the airplane. The other benefit to this is once that flight controller is installed in the airplane and you're programming through RD Pilot, you can quickly reference this to see where you've got wires plugged in so that uh, when you're setting up serial ports and that kind of stuff, you know what you did. You've got it right in front of you. Okay, so these are the layout and the wiring diagrams for the uh, Matek F405 board. Here is the Matek board itself and the buzzer connected via an extender and then it's just a USB type C adapter to uh, connect that to your computer to get it to talk to RD Pilot. Uh, the unfortunate thing about using the Matek over a Pixhawk is you don't have that telemetry capability. Uh, but that's fine for what we're going to do here with the uh, with the Bennett and making the Bennett a UAV. Now, these these wiring diagrams and these layout diagrams are available on the Bennett website. They're also available on the Matek website. Uh, they're loaded here with a lot of good information about the board, the voltage outputs, um, just good information. So I I highly suggest you go through it. Um, a little bit, um, but I'm going to walk you through it here in the video. This is the wiring diagram that's provided <clears throat> on the Matek website. I, I will also make it available on the Bennett page. The good information right here at the top, it tells you that the for INAV setup, uh, the firmware is the Matek F405TE, and for the RD Pilot setup, the firmware that we're going to be looking for when we flash this board is the Matek F405-TE. <clears throat> and again, the, the wiring diagram here gives you some really good information about where we're going to plug stuff in, such as servos, our ESCs, our battery, um, GPS, airspeed sensor, and then as well as our uh, receiver. Uh, but I'm going to walk you through all that setup here in this video. On the website, I've provided a cleaned up wiring diagram here. And we're going to walk through uh, drawing our wiring lines in. Here's the one I did for the Bennett, the first Bennett that we installed the Matex system in. So this is the wiring diagram for that. And I'm going to walk you through 
how to do this wiring diagram. Um, one of the things that's really nice about doing this is that once you get the flight controller installed in the airplane and all the systems installed and then you're hooked up to RD Pilot, you now have a reference of where you plugged everything in and you don't have to guess anymore about what's plugged in where. Uh, so it, it comes in useful later when we're programming RD Pilot. So here is, let me get this out of the way, here is the cleaned up wiring diagram that we're going to go ahead and wire up. I'm going to draw in the battery leads and in this uh, video here we're going to be using a 3S, 1200, uh, 3S 2200 milliamp hour battery. We're going to go through wiring up our ESC. We're going to go through wiring up our Spectrum 9747SRXL2 receiver. We're going to be wiring in a GPS and we're going to be wiring in a airspeed sensor as well as we're going to be wiring in elevator and aileron control. So let's start going through this process here. I've got some pencils, colored pencils that we can use here to start drawing in this diagram. So first thing I'm going to do here is we're going to draw the wiring for our battery. So here is our positive lead from our battery. Here is our pad for our battery right here. All we're going to do, I'm just going to draw a, a wire going from positive to positive here, just like that. That's how we'll solder up our battery. One lead will go to this pad. And then the next, we're going to solder our negative to this pad right here. Next, we've got to connect our ESC. So to connect our ESC here, we're going to go we're going to use this negative pad right here and that's all I'm going to do is draw a line coming down. Let's see, I'll draw that like this, skipping over this wire, coming down like that. And there's our negative lead going to our ESC. Our positive lead for our ESC is going to go right here. So that's all I'm going to do is, uh, let's see here, we'll go straight out, we'll draw a jump over in there, come on down, and go to our positive right here. Then we got our signal wire for our ESC, and let's see, I'll do that in blue, just so it sticks out a little bit better than the yellow. So we've got our positive and our negative um, BEC uh, wires here. We're not going to use those. The only wire that we are going to use here on the ESC is the signal wire. So the signal wire, we're going to connect to S1 over here. Uh, let's see, this is going to get a little crazy here. But let's see, I'll just draw it coming across. Draw it as it was like going under and then over here to our signal wire here. So now we've got our ESC and our battery uh, leads there, how we're going to wire those. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come to our spectrum receiver. Our spectrum receiver is going to have our signal wire it's going to have a not used wire. It's going to have our 3.3 .3 to 8.4 volts in, and it's going to have our ground. So let's go through how we're going to wire that up. Well, we're going to ground it. We'll ground it right here to this pad. So just draw a wire coming over here, right to there. 
right like that. So that's going to be how we connect our ground wire when we solder it up. Now we need to get it 3.3 to 8.4 volts. Well, right next to our ground wire, our ground pad here, we have a voltage wire, 4V, a 4V5, which is like 4.4 to 4.8 volts, I believe. Anyway, we're going to run that wire like this. Draw it jumping over here. And then connected to our 3.3 to 8.4. Not used, we're not going to use our TX2 signal wire. That is going to go to our TX2 pad, not the RX2 pad. So we're going to come off our TX2 pad like this. I'll draw this wire as if it was going under those and up here to our TX2. That's how our spectrum receiver is going to talk to this flight controller. This one here, since we're going to use an airspeed indicator and we're going to use a GPS with a compass, um, we're going to have to do some uh, parallel wiring here because we need, both of these need the clock clock mechanisms of the SDA and the SCL. Uh, this one needs SDA and SDL. So we're going to have to do some splicing here to get that to work. And I'll show you when we uh, wire this up, when we, when we create the servo connection for the connector for this, how we're going to do that. But anyway, uh, same thing here. So let's look at what we got common. We have a ground. We have a ground. We're going to have to share SDA and SCL. Uh, this one's going to go to RX4, TX4. This one does not need any communication with the board at all. It's all it's getting its uh, it's sending and receiving its information through the SCL and through the SDA. So let's go ahead and start wiring this up. Um, I use a black one here. We're going to go ground. I'm going to get our ground wire here. Now let's take a look. What ground wires could we use when connecting this all up? So I'm going to say we can go this ground to this ground here. So we're going to come up, come over just like this, and then I'll draw it coming down. That's going to be our ground there. Let's see what ground makes sense for this one. We could go and ground this one. I guess we could go right here or we could go right here. It doesn't matter. I'll do this one. Like that. Now let's talk about getting these things power. So our 4V5, we happen to have a 4V5 right here. And a 4V5 for this, for our airspeed indicator. Let's see, I am going to, um, we're going to share this 4V5. And again, I'll show you how we're going to do that when we wire this up. So we're going to get kind of, ugly looking here. I'll just kind of draw this off to the side a little bit here. Draw it coming under. We're going to go to that 4v5 and then this 4v5 is going to come right here and they're going to share that pad. Next, so we got these things power. Now our SCL, SDA, SCL, SDA. These ones are going to have to share a um, pad together. So let's see here. Let's use, I'm going to use, uh, I guess I'll use yellow. And we're going to go SCL right here. And this SCL. We've got to go to this pad right here. So I'm going to come up. 
and I'll just draw it going under. Draw this one over to here like this. And our SCLs are going to be tied in at the servo. And again, I'll show you that when we crimp this all together. Next, we've got to do, let's see, we got SCL. Now we got to do our SDA. Let's do that with, uh, let's see, I'm running out of colors here. How about blue? Actually, RX4, SDA, what? Well, we'll do SDA blue. SDA is going to be right here at this pad. Come over like this. Over to our SDA pad right there. And then this one. I'll go all the way over there. I'll draw it going underneath the wires. Over to here like that. So now we've got a path for our SDA. What do we got left here? So our airspeed indicator is done. Now we just got to do RX4 and TX4. RX4 and TX4 happen to be right next to each other here. Let's see, I'll use my green for the RX4. RX4 is right here. So we're going to come off RX4. I'll draw it off to the side a little bit here. Draw it coming underneath to our RX4. And one more, our TX4. And let's see, I think I about ran out of colors here. Um, I'll just use my my black one here. I'm going to go TX4. Come on down and kind of draw that going underneath the wires here as well. But you get the idea. So that is our wiring diagram our, for our setup here. Uh, again, if you're using different receivers, some different devices, um, the other things that we could add here is our camera setup and our video transmitter, which we're not going to do just yet. We'll do that in the future. This is just to get you set up with a basic RD Pilot setup. Okay, so <clears throat> let's move on here with the uh, soldering here and putting our pins in. So I've got the board here. That's all I'm going to do is take it apart now. These little screws in here. Remember this kit is meant to be uh, a first time doing this, uh, kind of getting your feet wet with soldering pins to a board, uh, flashing firmware, just general familiarization with this stuff. So what I'm showing you here is just very uh, introductory uh, to these boards. Pull this apart and you can see those pins go right into that little socket right there like that when you put it back together. So anyway, this is the power distribution board down here, which whoop, corresponds to this board here. So this will be the first thing that we solder up. We'll solder up all our connections here. Um, the next thing we'll solder up is we're going to solder the pins onto this board. and. Since this sits like this, it's kind of a good idea to think about how the how it's going to lay out on here. Um, we are going to solder pins to, we're going to put pins into all the connection spots here. Just so that in the future, if we ever want to add on to this, the pins are already in place. So let's uh, start soldering. We'll start with our power distribution board.